Hi guys, this is part two of questions based on introduction. In this lesson, I'll be solving few more questions. So here, set P is 0, 1 and 2. And set Q is 0 and 2. Got this guys. And you are supposed to list the members of P intersection. So what's P intersection? All elements common in P and Q. So what's common? 0 is common and 2 is common in both. So my answer will be 0 and 2. You get till this point. Then it says find P complement union Q. How will you get P complement? All elements that are not present in P but present in universal set. So it's going to be but aapka 3, 4, 5 and 6. Got till this point. Now you need P complement union Q. All elements of P complement and Q. But those which are repeated, you will write only once. So 0, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Got till this point. Now, will we get the marks? No, because the question is saying find n of p complement union. n means number of elements. How many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my answer is 6. Do you get part A and part B? Now comes part C. Part C says set R is 2x plus 1. And what's x? x is the element of p. And what's y? y is the element of q. That means x kya ho sakta? either 0, 1 or 2. And y can be guys only 0 and 2. Let's plug it. So my set r is what? 2x plus y. So let's take the first value of x. That's what? 0. And let's take the second value of x, that's what? 1. Then let's take the third value of x, that's what? 2. Plus, let's take the first value of y. So that is 0, 0, and 0. What's my answer, guys? It's going to be 0. 2 ones are 2. 2 plus 0 is what? 2. 2 twos are 4. 4 plus 0 is what? Now, let's take the x values again. 0, 1, and 2. Right, guys? And let's take the second value of y now. What's the second value of y? 2, 2, and 2. So my answer here is, bache 2, then here it's 4, and here it's 6. So I'm going to write here, set R is set R is 0, 2, 4, and 6. Can I write 2 and 4 twice? No. Basically, all sets are made from universal set. And if you notice, there is only 1, 2 in universal set and only 1, 4 is universal set. Now let's move to question 2. So for question two, you should know the concept of irrational number that's done in my first video of type of numbers. Let's recap here. What are irrational numbers? Numbers which cannot be expressed in terms of fraction. What are the example of irrational number? Pi or number written in under root that cannot be solved. So there's one very common question. That has come in the past paper around 5, 6 times. An irrational number between 1 and 2. If I say it's 1.5, no. Irrational number cannot be ever converted to fraction. And 1.5 means 1 whole 5.10. That's fraction. So 1.5 is not right. So how will you get an irrational number between 1 and 2? What's under root 1, guys? It's 1. What's under root 4? It's 2. So in the middle, it's going to be under root 2 and under root 3. So you can write 
any one answer. Do you get this, guys? This concept is connected to this question. Now, let's see. A is a positive integer between 9 and 10. And B is an irrational number. And you need to find A intersection. That means it should be an irrational number and it should be between 9 and 10. So let's find irrational number between 9 and 10. And the root 81 is 9. And the root 100 is 10. So in the middle, it can be any number between under root 82 till under root 99. That's going to be under root 83. Or you can write under root 85. Or you can write under root 87. It's your call. Do you get till this point? Now let's move to the third question. Okay. So universal set is between minus 1 till 6. Set P is minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. And what's set Q? X square. And what's X? Element of P. So that means you need to square all the element of P. Minus 1 square is 1. 0 square is 0. 1 square is 1. And 2 square is what? 4. You need to write N of Q. So let's write down set Q first. It's going to be 0, 1 and 4. Will you write 1 twice? No. Because set P and Q both should be from universal set. And how many 1's are present in universal set? Only 1. Now, how will you get N of Q? N of Q will be 3. Got this, guys? 